SVTWRC here. This is how to bleed brakes with a Mighty Vac vacuum pump. This is going to actuate vacuum so you don't have to have someone pressing the brake down. So this is a one person job. First we're going to assemble the Mighty Vac. Take the cap with the fittings, don't drop it like I did, and attach one of the hoses to the bottom. Assemble it onto the canister itself. As indicated on the cap, one of the longer hoses goes to the pump and the other to the attachment. Subaru's manual states that the brake fluid must be replaced in a certain sequence, and each car has its own sequence. So check online or check your manual for your sequence. But the Subaru's goes like this. A, you're going to do the front right, then the rear left, then the front left, and then the rear right. Now the name of the game here is clean the reservoir off and never let it get below half, I'd say. You don't want to clean the reservoir out completely. Use a brake fluid that is proper for your car, brake dot three or four. Check your manual. Subarus use dot three, these GDs and GG. Make sure the level is completely up to the top. You can take that little screen out if you want, but it does filter some of the fluid. So leave it in there. You also have to take a light sometimes because it's hard to check in there. Now locate the brake bleeder screw. Now that's attached to the caliper, usually on the back side. Some calipers have two depending on what caliper, like the STI's Brembo's, but this caliper has one. There's a little rubber boot, take that off, that protects the end cap. Now use of these 12 point is not recommended. If you're really having trouble getting it off, you can use a deep socket. And these front ones are a 10. You just want to crack the bleeder open. You don't want to open it fully. Now I use this 90 degree and it doesn't work on here. It's actually too large. It's the 6 millimeter opening. It will work for some of them. But I use this one and it kind of goes in and seals itself inside. So you're going to want to insert this little shaft into this hole. Yes, I said it. It happened. And now you're going to want to get a good seal. It's rubber, so kind of twist it in there. Now the way you've got a good seal is pump up the Mighty Vac a little bit and see if the pressure drops at all. If it doesn't, that means you're good to go. Pump up the Mighty Vac about 10 to 15 times and just hold the pressure there. Then you're going to crack the bleeder open about a quarter of a turn. Once again, you don't want to take this and remove the whole entire bleeder. If there's no fluid coming out, do another just eighth of a turn on that bleeder screw until you see some fluid. Now the pump will still be holding vacuum, so it should draw the fluid out. To see some bubbles like this, it's natural at first, but it should clear itself out. You could also give the vacuum pump a couple more pumps to get the fluid going more. Fluid should enter the container and then close the bleeder screw while there's still vacuum. It's good now to check the pump when it's closed to make sure that there's no leaks. If the needle doesn't drop, you know that the system is sealed. Now you can remove the attachment and you'll hear the vacuum release. Only draw about two inches of fluid into the container and then make sure that you refill your reservoir. Remember, the name of the game is never let the reservoir drop below half. Everything should be sealed up and there should be no leaks coming from the outside of the threads or the bleeder hole itself. The Mighty Vac is a really great kit and you can't beat it for the price. It was around $35 at the local AutoZone. And it's going to come in really useful because it can test any type of vacuum actuated device like blow off or bypass valves. You could also tune them with your springs because this will do about 15 PSI. Well, I hope this helps everyone out. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up, everyone, and we will see you later. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.